So we have four jobs and uh, they have processing time and due dates as they are promised to the client. We have jobs. We have processing time. And we have due date. Jobs one, two, three, four. The processing time are seven, three, five, and two. Due date is twenty one, seven, eight, and five. We want to evaluate different methods. So the first method that we usually analyze is first come, first served. So basically, as jobs arrive, we want to evaluate if they are, uh, when they will finish, and uh, how much lateness we will experience, and how much tardiness the customers will experience. So the first thing is that we have to find the completion time of each task if we do first come first serve, which sometimes it is called flow time. You know, at, as it flows through our workshop or hospital or whatever it is. So flow time is actually the completion time. Will be completed at. So the processing time of job one is seven, so it will finish at seven. And the flow time of job two, it will finish at? You have to tell me. Oh, seven. To air. No. It, it starts at seven. Notice that we are, uh, we are assuming that there is only one processor. Mm -hmm. 10, oh, very yeah. good. Next one. 15 and then 17. 17. For those of you who are interested in the mathematical meaning, it's basically the cumulative uh, time. And uh, then we compare it with the due date that will give us the uh, lateness. Um, so the due date is 21, and uh, we finished it at 7, so lateness is negative 14. 14. This one, due date is 7, but it finishes at 10, so there is a lateness of 3. 7, a 12. And 12, thank you. And then the tardiness is what the customer will experience and here there is no tardiness 3 7 and 12 and our measure is the average tardiness this is the best measure if you are a customer oriented business or customer facing business so the average of these would be 20 Five. Five. Uh, 22 divided by 4, right? 5.5. Mm. How much is that? 5.5. Exactly? Yes. Yeah. So that gives us the, the... Basically, it tells the operations manager that if we follow that strategy, the average experience of the customer would be 5.5 tardiness. And then we will do the same thing for the other strategies as well. So job, processing time, due date. This time we are going to use uh, which one? Let's say we go for earliest, uh, the shortest processing time first. So if you want to do shortest processing time first, let me zoom out a little bit, uh, then uh, 
We'll go with four. Very good. Yes, we will do four first. Two, two second. Three and one. Three and one. Lovely. So you have done your homework. Very good. And then the processing time for four is two. The processing time for two is three. And four, three is five. And four, one is seven. The due dates for four is five. Seven. Eight. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. The flow time for each one for a time for the first one would be five no it's it just only takes two days yeah. so at the end of two days the first one is finished at the end of fifth day the second one will be finished 10 and 17 and the lateness will be uh, for first one, we are early. For the second one, we are early, right? Yes. Are we early? Yes. For the third one, we are late. For the fourth one, we are early. So good. And tardiness. I bet that this strategy will be the best. So this would be no tardiness, no tardiness, two and zero. And the uh, average tardiness. Will be two divided by four, please. One five. Now the next strategy that we may experiment with. You notice that these are all mental experiments that the operation manager does before telling the people in which order they have to do their jobs. Processing time and due date. Now, what is the what is the we want to do earliest due date first? So, which activity has the earliest due date? Four. Four. Oh, actually, it will be exactly the same thing. So notice that they are already sorted based on earliest due date. So the same thing would happen to earliest due date. In this case, earliest due date and shortest processing time are actually the same order of tasks. And now when we compare the two, uh, if we go first come first served, the average tardiness that the customer experiences is 5.5. If you go for the shortest processing time or earliest due date, uh, we have to do the jobs in this order, 4, 2, 3, 1. And that is what we will suggest the workshop to do. So the order that we will take care of our tasks would be 4, 2, 3, 1. And uh, on average, our customers will, exper will experience uh, half a unit of time tardiness.